This will be a tutorial on how to properly lubricate your Rubik's Cube. First, you're going to need a Rubik's Cube. Duh. Then, you're going to need lubricant. I prefer Jiggaloo since it's the best one I can find at Home Depot. And then, you're going to need a newspaper to keep your desk clean. First, you're going to set down your newspaper. And you're going to take apart your Rubik's Cube. First, rotate it 50, 45 degrees. And you just pull out the top. Then you just start taking pieces out. Turn it. Pieces will start falling off. There. Then you're going to need to set your pieces up so that it will be properly lubricated, lubricated when you spray the lubricant on. Now this may take a while, but be patient because the best way to set it up is like the way I'm doing right now. There it goes there, that goes there, there. The sticker should be facing away, as you can see. And then the final piece where is it? There it is. Now you can set up these pieces so that the stickers are facing away. Because you don't want to get the stickers lubricated. And it'll be slippery and hard to speed stall. And then, then you get your lubricant, take the top off, see that? Then you get the straw, or in this case you don't need it. Shake it up and spray it. There, that's all you need. Short little sprays. Then, all you need to do is put the key back together. And that's how you properly lubricate your Rubik's Cube.